Today your reading selection is Teddy Bears by Thomas Birch, illustrated by Peter Francis. And um, Teddy Bears, um, you will need to know a little bit about uh, Theodore Roosevelt. And I know that we've read some stories about Theodore Roosevelt. We read one earlier. And he was the 26th president of the United, of the United States. And like George Washington, he was president for eight years. He served from 1901 to 1909, more than 100 years ago. He spent much time enjoying the natural wonders of America, um, the Badlands in South Dakota, the geysers in Yellowstone, um, the Grand Canyon in Arizona, and Yosemite Valley in California were some of his favorite places. And during his presidency, he advocated to um, establish and protect national parks and set them aside so that the public could enjoy them for years to come. So we um, are going to be reading Teddy Bears, and Teddy Bears is a narrative nonfiction. So it kind of tells a story, but it's a true story. So it's telling a story, a true story. So it includes facts about real people, places, or events, and it's shaped into a story. Um, the real places become the setting, and the real events become the plot of this for a narrative nonfiction. Um, I want you to be thinking about the essential question. How do we show our leaders respect? How do we show our leaders respect? And we're going to be using the comprehension strategies, predicting and confirming predictions. So you're going to think about what you read and kind of anticipate what's going to happen next. Ask yourself questions. And then you're going to interact with the story by checking to see if your prediction was correct. And we're also going to be asking and answering questions. And that just helps you think about what you're reading. Um, you look to answer questions like who, what, where, when, why, and how in a story so that you understand it better. So let's go ahead and start reading teddy bears. Most kids have cute teddy bears. Kids like them. But who gave teddy bears that name? Why teddy? Long ago, Theodore Roosevelt was president of the United States. He liked to hunt. He hunted with his pals. Okay, so let's stop. We're going to answer questions, okay? Let's think about what we've just read. Do you have any questions about what you just read? Because I think a good question would be like, what are pals? Like, what does it mean he hunted with his pals? Pals would be like his friends, right? So, and we also um, may be wondering to ourselves, what do, do cute teddy bears have to do with the president of the United States? Now, that's a question that we're probably going to get answered here in just a little bit, but that would be a question that I'd be asking myself. Okay, on this page, it talks about cute teddy bears, and on this page, it's talking about Theodore Roosevelt. Hmm. On a trip, his pals trapped an old bear. The president felt bad for the bear. He did his best to save the bear's life. A newspaper told about the bear. The bear was old, but the newspaper said it was a cute little cub. Oh, imagine that. A newspaper not telling the truth. All right, so let's stop here and predict what might happen next. All right, so I know that it's talking about cute little teddy bears. I know it's talking about Theodore Roosevelt. So maybe the reason they called those cute little furry uh, teddy bears teddy bears is because they say that Teddy, the Roosevelt, saved a real bear's life. You think that might be a, a good prediction? What do you think? A man saw the newspaper. He sold stuffed bears in his shop. He called them teddy bears. Teddy was the president's nickname. Okay, so maybe I wasn't completely right, but it did have something to do with the story about President Roosevelt saving the bear. His nickname was Teddy. And so when he, someone who owned a toy shop saw that story, he decided he would call these teddy bears, not just stuffed bears, but teddy bears. Kids like teddy bears. The man sold a lot of them, but people still call them teddy bears. We still do. So my prediction was kind of kind of confirmed. Um, I got I got it partially right. Um, 
on that page. Let's go ahead and take a look at your vocabulary real quick here. I know that was a super short story, right? Most kids have cute teddy bears. Most. Most. The biggest number of. Mr. Thompson has the most students. He has more than the other teachers. Most. All right, so most means the biggest number of. So most kids have cute teddy bears. The biggest number of kids have cute teddy bears. More have teddy bears than don't have teddy bears. All right, take a look at the next word. There it is. It's still. The word is still. We still do. Still. Up to now. He was playing an hour ago. He is playing now. He is still. Yeah. All right, still means up to now. So up till this point, we are still calling them teddy bears. After all those years, 100 years later, we're still calling them teddy bears. All right, I will be sure to include the discussion starters so that you can talk about teddy bears with your big person and maybe even explain to them why we call teddy bears teddy bears, right? Now you know and you can pass on that information to your big person.